Hey guys, what's going on? Really quickly, I want to talk about the composition that I'm going to play in today's video. Uh, usually I put one of these at the start when I'm playing a comp that I either haven't played for a while or a comp that is new to the channel. If I've played the comp numerous times before, I'll usually point you to a video where I have played this composition and you can go and check out the first few minutes of that video before watching the video if you need an explanation about how to build it. Um, this time around, I'm just going to show you the endgame comp because this is this is Rebels, um, and essentially all I did was snowball with Rebels very early on. So you you kind of see me go through it stage by stage in the video because this is a video that I actually did live commentary over. I don't do many of those, but I just wanted to do it on this particular video. Um, but also thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There is a link in the description below. I think I actually say that in the video as well, but I'm actually going to put this on the start of the video um, just to begin with. Um, this is about having rebels, and I got a rebel spat for misfortune plus a demolitionist spat. You might ask why I still had the zigs in this composition when I had the demolitionist spat. Well, he was three star, and three units with the demolitionist trait is never going to be a bad thing. Zigs give you single target CC, and misfortune and gangplank give you AOE CC. And then Jinx is going to be one of your main damage carries here. Um, the Lulu and the Thresh are just in because they're just good units. So, you know, like, Lulu's obviously just a good unit. She provides the Mystic bonus. Um, usually I'd run Soraka over Lulu, but in this instance I ran the Lulu. And the Thresh is there because he's going to pull units into the field. I, I can pull a Soraka in to the composition. Uh, obviously, Jinx items... Uh, I haven't got a defensive on her, and I think in Rebels you don't need a defensive item on her. I think red buff works perfectly fine, um, because you get such a huge shield from your uh, your Rebel bonus that actually just having the red buff on is perfectly okay. I would say that Ginsu's and Deathblade is the optimal combo for me, but Ginsu's plus Giant Slayer is also fine. So let's dive into the video. Oh, actually, before we get into the video, I just want to say... Um, this might have been one of the proudest games of TFT I have ever had. I think I played it really well. I definitely think there were mistakes in there. So obviously, I'm, I'm never perfect, guys. I, I see a lot of comments, you know, saying, oh, you made this mistake here, you made this mistake there. And I do appreciate it because it helps me um, reflect on, on the way I played. Uh, but obviously, I'm not a perfect player. Like, I, I'm going to have... I'm gonna have uh, Everybody makes mistakes. Even challenger players make mistakes, right? So, you know, it's it's perfectly fine to make mistakes. You don't have to be upset about it. Um, but this game, I genuinely feel like I played it really well. So I, I hope you enjoy and I hope you get a bit of an insight about how to um, make choices to win streak with Rebels, especially because Rebels are a really strong composition to, composition to win streak with. And you'll notice my item decisions in the early game probably gave me the platform for the win in this game. They probably gave me the platform for the win. Plus, Jinx is busted. Jinx is just really busted right now. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just going to turn on the music quickly. I don't do many live gameplay videos. So, oh, that's really loud. I don't do many live gameplay videos, so I thought I'd do one um, now. Uh, just because I'm in the Star Cluster Galaxy, I got a Ziggs 2. Ziggs 2 is a really, really good early unit. He can trade really nicely against a lot of people. Plus, I got him with a spat on. Now, what this means is if I get a... Uh, if I get a needless, needlessly large rod, I can actually bounce the demo spat off my Ziggs for free and actually keep the Ziggs too. So I actually thought that was a pretty solid move on my part um, to be able to get that because it basically means I can bounce the Ziggs off. I'm going to mute these people just not like not because it's just because I don't really know what they're saying. They could be saying something offensive in another language and I don't really know. I don't want that on my channel just in case. So I'm going to keep the Ziggs too with the the spat on because if I, again, if I can find a uh, rod, I can bounce it off the Ziggs. And we can play a, ve a very, very early Ziggs comp with Demo Spat, which is really, really good to potentially snowball with. And I'm actually going to pick up the Graves as well, because Graves with the Demo Spat is really nice. Um, got gloves. Gloves are, like, gloves are solid. That's, uh, that's not particularly good. And I didn't get any gold here, which is a bit annoying. But I want to keep the pairs of Malphites, of course. Another Ziggs. And I think... <sighs> I'm going to take the poppy and hope that I actually, um, I can actually get a, another, um, uh, another bit of gold. I haven't picked up any gold from, from the early rounds so far, so I should actually be due some gold on this round. Again, I, I kind of want to be able to bounce that, um, demo spot off the Ziggs. Probably not playing Ziggs hyper roll here because I haven't got two tiers. So there's a bit of gold. It's a Kaiser and it's a Blitzcrank and an Annie. So I'm going to buy those. I'm not going to buy. I'm going to keep the Annie. And I'm going to keep the Kaiser. That's another Caitlyn. That's really nice, actually. Probably take off that. I'm actually probably going to do this. There is a case for leveling up here. There is actually a case to level up here, but I'm not going to do it because there's too many things that I want to keep on the bench. 
So if I if I lose this round because someone pulls me, uh, I'm gonna do it like this actually. More likely that someone has a blitz crank over on the right hand side. It's usually the case, right? Very few people actually have blitz cranks over on the left. See, like here, blitz cranks on the right. Most people have blitz crank on the right, which means he's, they're gonna pull in my um, they're gonna pull in my mouth fight. Most people just by natural preference put their stuff over on the uh, on the left hand side of this on the left hand side, and my zigs should. I'm hoping we can win this. I think we can win this. I'd be very sad if we didn't win this. Yeah, we're good. Just about. That's a poppy. And a twisted fate. Okay. What I think we can do here is sell the Annie sell the Zoe, level up, and put the Twisted Fate in this side. I really do, I can't combine, I, I don't want to make a Shroud of Stillness this early in the game, especially when these two units can be, these two items can be used for other things. There is definitely a, the, the chance that we're going up against someone who's playing, um, oh, it's very likely that we're going up against someone who's playing mech, right? It's, it's, like this guy here, he's already got the Kha'Zix. Um, luckily, the, again, I've positioned so that I don't get isolated. I have a really strong early start, uh, very, very, very strong early start, to be honest with you. That's nice. <clears throat> so I want to set. I do actually want to sell here to get to ten gold. So I'm probably going to sell this lot here. It's probably the best decision. Because then what I'll do is I'll bounce the demo spat off and put it on, put it on twist. And I'm, I'm probably not getting a rod, right? Let's not let's not kid ourselves. We're probably not getting a rod in this situation. So, but we are probably going to take get rid of the Kaiser here. It's probably just the best move. I'm really not sure where we're going with the build right now. We're just, I, I think we're just looking to win streak and then make a decision once we see what other people have got. This guy's got two Fioras, but Fiora's not the best unit in the world, so I'm not too concerned. Ooh, ooh, she did. I'm actually kind of concerned that we could have lost that. Gonna sell the uh, sell the graves. Get to ten gold. Right, let's have a look at what people are going. This is the time where I can have a look around the boards. This guy's got blasters. He's got cybernetic. He's got cybernetic. Well, he's sorry. He's got vanguards and a two-star Lucian. This guy, I have no idea. Lots of things. Kaiser, so probably Kazix and Malphites. No idea. Again, Kazix. Do I just take something here to put on the board at this point? Or do I take a tier? I'll probably take the Yasuo with the tier. I mean, I think just taking the Yasuo with the tier is the right thing in this situation. Because I can level up, then put the Malphite on. And then have a two-star... Two-star, um... This guy. Right, so we're definitely leveling up here. We're putting him on. I think we're selling the poppy at this point. No, so what I want to do is I want to do something like this. The other question is, do I buy that? And this and that and that. Yeah, probably just buy all of that. Is this better to have a blitzcrank here than a twisted fate? I think it probably. I think it probably is because then we get the the brawler bonus. I think having the Brawler bonus is probably better than having a random Twisted Fate, but we'll keep him just in case we want to add him later on. And again, we have this positioning to stop against stop the Kha'Zixes from, from getting an edge over us. What I'd really like is to get another bloody Malphite, though. That'd be nice. We have a Hand of Justice, and we potentially have a GA, so this could be a Kale game. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait to see what I get from the Krugs. It is another Ziggs. I mean, it's probably not him. It's probably not that. 
So I would buy this, and then if we win, I'll buy the other uh, Yasuo. I can't really combine Hand of Justice, even though I want to, because because if I get more tiers, then we could play a Ziggs build, right? We'd have to end up selling the Yasuo, but if we get more tiers, nah, actually, let's just combine the Hand of Justice. Let's just make the Hand of Justice. I just want to. I just want to win. I want. I want to keep winning. Let's 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 potentially plan for a uh, a Kale game. I, I want to keep winning. I don't want to. I don't want to lose. Basically, the moral of this story is I just don't want to lose. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep gonna keep planning to win. <laughs> I'll buy the Yasuo though. There's another Ziggs. Oh, are we playing Rebels? But with Yasuo, just I think maybe we could play Rebels, couldn't we? We could probably play Rebels, right? I don't need the Rumble because we can bounce the um. I mean, we ain't playing that, right? We ain't playing... We're probably... Well, when I say ain't, likely aren't playing Mech. Because he's already got Demo Spat. Yeah, I, I don't want to compete for Mech. That guy's already got the Demo Spat. I don't have the Demo Spat. I don't really have the units for it. That is... Oh, we have a Rebel Medal. We actually have a Rebel Medal that we can bounce. So... Wow, I got... Red Buff? I've got Red Buff. Oh, I do have Demo Spat. That's nice, actually. I'm going to sell the Yasuo. And that's a Sonar. I think we're playing Rebels, right? This is a Rebel game. So we're going to bounce the Rebel Spat. And we're going to put it on the... I guess the Caitlyn. I kind of want to level up here. I'm going to make red buff. Even though it's not great on Caitlyn, I'm going to make the red buff. Um, so I think we're pretty strong. I I think we can... I can pl probably play Rebels from this position. Um, I can keep the I can keep the Hand of Justice on the Yasuo, and I can just look for a Yasuo 3 this game, hopefully. I mean, there's no point having... The only reason I've got the demo spat on the Caitlyn is because I haven't got anyone better to put it on. So... Oh, there's a Yi as well. Yes, thank you. I guess I'd put it on a Graves if I find a Jinx, right? I don't need I don't need many more Ziggs to actually convert a Ziggs here. It's another Yi and a Malphite, finally. There's also a Ezreal here. That'd be nice for when I find if I find a, a Jinx at some point. But this is really good. Like, I take this every day of the week. I don't want to put Master Yi on just yet because there's no real point. He's like, Lon he's one star and it's worse than everything else that I've got right now. This guy's got, um, who knows, a lot of stuff. Jin, etc. There is a guy playing Blasters, it looks like. I think it's, um, this chap here, but... I can play Rebels from this position. If I can continue to win streak, I can 100% play Rebels. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crush this. I want to find someone to replace the Ez. Like, if I find the Jinx, the Ezreal is gonna come in instead of the Caitlyn. Gonna take the two Darius as well. I'm super strong though. I think I'm really strong. I just need to like, if I can just walk into a couple more Zigs, I'll be really happy. It's another Yasuo. I think we just take it, right? Take the random. I want to. I want to build my eco up right now. I, I think I'm in a strong spot, but I don't really want to. Like I keep. I keep the Caitlyn in for the Chrono right now. I think overall we're in a we're in a good position. So we got Mech with with Infiltrator. So he's already got the Fizz, which is insanely good for him. He's also gone demo. He's got the Kha'Zix 3. He's playing... I have no... I think he's probably playing... He's probably wanting to play some kind of cybernetic build, I feel. Luckily, my Malphite's going to tank this Auri Orb. No, it's alright. We, we got the, the... I mean, Yasuo is so smurf, dude. Yasuo is so smurf. But there is about a... Th there are like a thousand um, demo spats in this game, which definitely feels like we're going to have to be rushing, uh, rushing 8. 
So I'm kind of tempted to take the Yi, but I also really just want to take the, the Ziggs for a Ziggs 3. What could I even make with that that would be, be any good? I don't know if that's worth it, actually. Maybe maybe it's better to take... Some, maybe I just take the Ziggs 3. I think maybe I just take the Ziggs 3. Like, that's a Ziggs 3 at the end of the day. I don't even have to work for it. Like, I just take the Ziggs 3. I don't know what I can make with that. That would be good. I could maybe make a lock at the Iron Solari, for instance. But I think you just take the Ziggs 3 in this circumstance. Like, it's not about being picky right now. It's, it's about just it's about just getting the good units on the board. I can make like a, a frozen heart against like assassins. I can make um I can make a who knows? <laughs> who knows? Could be a, could be a bramble vest, I guess. But we just take the Ziggs three in this circumstance, dude. Like we obviously just take the Ziggs three. Like it's just a lot of damage. I can't make another red buff, it's just no point, but... Like, even a GA is not bad. So we're pulling in the Velkos. So the Velkos is gonna die, right? Easy enough. And we're gonna bomb the Kha'Zix here. Yeah, we are. This is an Infiltrator Malphite, by the way. That's hilarious. I uh, kind of want to level up to seven pretty quickly, actually. I don't know who I'd put in. I don't have six rebels to put in. If I find a Jinx, Star Guardian. I like having a um, having a Soraka here is actually pretty solid. Probably don't need the next Malphite. Soraka is a nice potential addition though down the line because that gives us Mystic with the Sona. In fact, that might even be worth going to seven for. Probably just going to add that. Giving um, the Mystic bonus over to my comp is actually quite nice. I'm not keeping uh, Blitzcrank around, am I? But I think going to seven here makes sense. I want to. I really, really want to continue my win streak. Uh, I'm going up against this guy who does a lot of magic damage. Obviously, that's a big stun. That is a really big stun. I'm hoping that we can. Yeah, that's really nice. We we we, we baited the mech away. We baited the mech away, which is really good. Let's just hope that we can win. Come on, stun him, stun him, stun him. Have we got enough time? Have we got enough time? Come on, Soraka. Come on, Soraka. This is all you, Soraka. This is all you. Zig's 3 actually... Zig 3 has actually hard carried me here. If I can win this, Zig's 3 has, like, hard carried me. Yes. Zig's 3 hard carried me. Oof. That's a big one. That's better than Malphite for the time being, right? Yeah, it's got to be better than Malphite for the time being. Sell, sell, sell. I'm keeping him because I don't know who to put this. I mean, this has got to go. I mean, that's got to go on Ezreal, right? This has got to transfer to Ezreal and eventually go to Misfortune, the, the, the demolitionist spat anyway. All right. Titans Resolve, Zero. Loads of gold. There's an Ezreal here. I think it's time. I think it's time. He gets the demo spat. Will he get the red buff, though? That's a really good question. I rolled a little bit. I was just looking for a potential um, Jinx here. Maybe he will get the red buff for the time being, because I can just add Jinx in with something else. There's plenty of options. Oh, there's a Master Yi there. I kind of want that over the, the Ezreal. Like, if I can randomly three-star my Rebels this game... Like, we've got time to do it as well. We've got low time to do it. The problem with Ezreal is he takes forever to cast. But that was a really nice cast there. Also, the Yasuo is, like, kind of smurfing. Just, like, locking up individual units here. I think I just take this. I kind of want to eight, but I really do need Jinx. I might fast eight. I'm going to fast eight. I mean, there's no point not to fast eight, right? There is no point not to fast eight. Anyone else going Jinx? No. What? There's two people playing 
Two people playing mech, which is great. One guy's already got a three star. This guy's gone cybernetic. This guy's got a Jinx 2 already. That's not a good look for me. Come on, get a big fat stun off here. Get a big fat stun off here. That's a big fat stun, Ezreal. Let's go, baby. And we killed him. Nice. I am going to fast eight. We might not even need to rely on Jinx as our carry. If we can get a Misfortune and then get a um, GP, like, easy game. Jinx, easy. Let's go, wait. Okay, so... Can I get rid of that? Um... I don't want to roll down here. I just wanted to go eight to get the get the ball rolling. Um, I don't really know what I want to do with these items. I'm just going to wait. Like I said, I have no idea what to make with that Ziggs. I just have a random Ziggs three. But yeah, we got the six. We got the six uh, rebel buff now at just at the right time. I actually think demo spat can go on Aurelian Soul. If we can get an Aurelian Soul two with demo spat, I think we're in a good spot. God, we made we made some really good decisions this game. Like we we've made great decisions. There's an Aurelian Soul and he has a spat on him already. That's kind of useless. What I really want is something for Jinx, Giant Slayer, GA, BF Sword would be ideal. What would be the next best thing? Something to combine with my um something to, Oh, I could make a rebel spat. If I get another spat, I could make a rebel spat. If not, I can go for um, a locket of the Iron Solari, which is also okay. But actually, honestly, I take the rebel spat if I have to. Oh, I just take the rebel spat. I can bounce. I can bounce the. Um, I can bounce the vest off Ziggs and make a rebel spat. It just it just me leaves me kind of with nothing on Jinx for the time being. But I can just add the rebel spat over to my um, Ezreal, who's eventually getting sold. So I bounce this off to make a rebel spat, and boom, rebel spat. Genius. Absolutely genius. So now, this is like, this is perfect MF stuff. I, if I could just get like a Quicksilver or something, like, we're in the money. He's got so much mana though, it takes a little while to get there. Who's the guy with the Jinx? This is a guy who's playing Void. Yeah, he's got the Infiltrator, oh, he's got the friggin' Infiltrator, um, he's got the Infiltrator Velkoz, which is a pain. I actually think we might lose for the first time. Yeah, we're going to lose. This is um, this is a bit of a yikes. It's okay, though. We had a really good win. We eco back up. Like, we're going into some neutral rounds here. We just we just eco back up where we can. That's another Master Yi. I'm going to take it. Like, if I can get a, if I can slow roll for a Master Yi 3, like, we don't even need to rely on Jinx. But this guy's got this guy's strong as well. He's got mech, and I think I'm probably going to be playing up against him. There's not much I can do. I might split my carries up a little bit. Maybe put these guys over here. See, I, I thought I'd be going up against him. There wasn't really much I could do. Um, Rebels is infinite, like quite famously bad versus mech. <laughs> um, the main reason being that you all grouped up and so the, the Kaiser just craps on you like this. But I think the I think the Ezreal and the um the Ezreal might get through this, you know. He's got the he's got the red buff, like and Sona's doing it okay. Did he actually hit that? He did. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Right, let's hope that we can find something good for uh, Rebels. I think maybe we can... We're looking for Misfortune, because we want to give her the Rebel Spat and the... Um, we want to give her the Rebel Spat and the Demolitionist Spat. And then we want to give the Red Buff over to Jinx. And then give Jinx something else. Lots of mech players, though. Where's the... Um, where's the guy that was playing Jinx? Is he out already? No, he's, a, he's a down there. 
I think we need to go to nine there. We need we need to consolidate the fact that we are miles ahead of the competition. It's a load of gold, and that is nothing. I mean, that's Runin's, okay? So maybe it's just maybe it's actually just Runin's red buff. I think it might actually just be Runin's red buff for Jinx. Even though that's two red buffs on the team, at least we're applying it from multiple different areas. Um, Valkyrie's fortune, Pog. Okay. So that's nice. Put that there. Boom. 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 Do we even need Malphite? We don't even need Malphite. We could just get another Blade Master in. Actually, what about this guy? We could just get another Blade Master in. To be completely honest with you, why have I just left Soraka over there? <laughs> oh god, I've just left Soraka over there. <laughs> Come on, Misfortune. Come, oh yeah, Misfortune is gonna. She's she's done it. She's 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 kind of done it. She's kind of done it. She's kind of done it. Okay, I kind of want to get a three star Yi and a three. Star, I want to get a two star Jinx, a three star Yi. Like, we don't even need the Malphite. We can just add a random Blade Master. But. There's Jinx. Like, Kale. We could just add Kale, for instance. For the time being. Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a Gangplank. That's filthy, actually. That's filthy. Okay, I'm going to level now, I think. I do kind of want to get the two stars, though. Alright, I think we're losing this one. Unless my misfortune pops off, which she's not going to pop off hard enough. I don't have the upgrades for her. Okay, the guy with the jinxes is quit, so I can probably... I want to roll for my three stars, and then, um, then we can worry about the rest. Jinx, Cybernetic, Irelia, that's probably pretty good. Nah, actually, do you know what? Master Yi's larger cone. That's nice. Let's just add the thresh for the time being. Okay, let's um let's not get ahead of ourselves with rolling. We don't we don't even really need the gangplank, but he'd be a nice addition if we can get him to two star with some upgrades. I, we don't even need to reposition. I just think we're really strong. Like I just don't even think we need to reposition that hard. This guy's gonna crap on me though. This guy's surely gonna crap on me. Like, his, like, that is just ridiculous. He hits the entire team. Okay, so that's fine. And then we're dead. Wow, we got actually destroyed. I think we should, I think we need to just, I think we need to think about going to nine right now. Because the mech, I mean, at least I've played both the mech players already. How strong are the other people? Um, I think I want the, the Quicksilver. Quicksilver or Deathblade? I actually think I want Deathblade. If I can get Deathblade, that's insanely good. Deathblade would be the choice. If I can't get the Deathblade, I can't get the Deathblade. Okay. Um, I think Giant Slayer. I actually think Giant Slayer is the play. We want Giant Slayer here. This guy looks very, very good. Like, very strong, apart from the mech. But Giant Slayer helps me versus the mechs, right? <laughs> So we give that to my I could actually drop um the rebel medal on misfortune but I think I actually want to go to I think I actually want to go to 9 I think I'm going to slow level to 9 over the course of the next few rounds I'm going to put her over there actually put her over with the um this um Just because I, I kind of don't want everybody to get focused at the same time. Wow, that uh, that went horribly. Oh my god, my, my Jinx just got obliterated. Damn, that Kha'Zix hurt, dude. Yeah, we need to go to 9 here. I think we have enough HP to survive until top 3, but this should, this should be like a top 1 situation. Like, if I can get the, the Gangplank and the MF and stuff... Like this, this shouldn't be a situation where I end up losing. I also nearly have a Master E3 and a Yasuo 3 So I should be in a good spot. 
The other, otherwise, I can sell the the Yasuo and just add the the gangplank with the um. Maybe it's better to have these guys grouped up and just just have the Thresh over there by himself. Also, Soraka too would really help me. The healing from Soraka too would be really good versus a lot of these comps. I think this is the Aurelia chat good person. I just put. I, I don't want anyone to get like isolated. Oh wow, this is Ash three. Holy moly. Oh god, Lulu, please. Oh my gosh. Do we take that upgrade? I think we just take that upgrade. Matt's against his Rage Blade, who I probably give to the E if I can get him to three. I think we go to 9 after this and roll it down. We go to 9 and roll it down and hope that we can hit the right units. We're top 4, but I would really like this to be better than top 4. Although, unfortunately, we have a bad matchup versus uh, versus Mech, because the Kaiser just absolutely destroys our entire team. Not, not much I can do about that unless I get unless I get the perfect Misfortune upgrades. Right, there's a Yi. I'm gonna put the gangplank in. Lulu, probably put her in over the Soraka for the time being. Larger area. Soraka. Fresh. That's two gangplanks. So. Just better, I think. That's just better. Um, I might sell the master I might sell the Yasuo and then get um the Hand of Justice on Gangplank. This is enough time for me to potentially yeah, this is might be enough time. This is enough time. This is massively enough time. Gangplank 2 is just such a huge upgrade for me. I might I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell the um I'm gonna sell the Yasuo. He's not a he's not a three star target for me. That's a Thresh 2 as well. So I'm going to sell the Yasuo and put a new Yasuo in and then put this on the Gangplank. If he rolls the 50% damage buff, it's just an absolute GG. It's on the Gangplank as well. I'm just going to, I'm just going to have him there to pull in. <laughs> so we beat that guy. We've got that guy. As long as we stay grouped up, like I think we're perfectly fine. Uh, also got to be a little bit concerned about the, um, the sniper player, but... I actually think we have enough um, grouping now where it's not going to be that much of an issue. Like, watch this. It's just disgusting. Like, if, <laughs> it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh my god, we're top. Are we? No, okay, we're, we're top three. It's double jinx. Am I searching for... I, I, I don't think I'm searching for, for goodness sake. I don't think we're searching for a Jinx 3 in this scenario, but... Um, so up against the... We're, we're surely up against the... Um, I want to get him out of the way of the... I kind of want to get him out of the way of the Kaiser. Maybe we are searching for a Jinx 3 in this scenario. Maybe we should just try and survive a little bit. But yeah, we're up against this guy again. So he thought he was, I mean, is he just going for a potential, like... Come on, Gangplank, let's get him! Let's get him, Gangplank! Yeah, easy. Easy game. Is he gonna, he's gonna lose, right? He's gonna I mean, I think, I think they just knocked each other out. I think I just get top one here. Easy. Oh, he's, he's on zero. He's on, like, very low HP. Uh, take the Quicksilver. And that's got, that goes on my gangplank. I take the quicksilver and it just goes on my gangplank. Like Aurelian Soul would be nice here, but I, I actually just genuinely feel like um, genuinely feel like the the MF is better, even though I haven't got MF two at this point in time. I think I'm just gonna hit and hope. 
good. We Gucci. Got MF2. I don't really think there's a good way to position versus this. I think he could probably put the Kaiser in that spot, but I just think that my GP with her, his upgrades is just too strong right now. Like, he's got the Quicksilver, so he just can't be stopped, and then I bring in... Like, MF is just going to go off here. Like, MF just goes off here. Boom, baby. Easy first places. Grandmaster, here we come. <laughs>